What's up everybody, it's Eno with Trout's Fly Fishing. Back with the Bud Light truck and with your bi-weekly fishing report and forecast. Uh, we've survived the bomb cyclone, we've survived inventory. It's on to the middle and end of March. Uh, I couldn't be more excited about that. That means streamers, that means we're actually going to start seeing blue wings. We're actually going to start seeing those big midges. Um, usually I jump the gun a little bit talking about blue wings. I mean, obviously they became a little bit more active and you can start to get good eats on them on the free zones and uh, on the tailwaters in the nymph form, but we'll really start to see those hatch in the end of March and beginning of April. Um, so dry fly season is here, sparkle duns, blue, uh, extended body blue wing olives, um, you know, sprout midges for those big midges. Uh, you know, cho choose your favorite um, blue wing and uh, midge dry and make sure you have a bunch of them in a variety of sizes because um, this is the time to be fishing. So the tailwater's flows haven't changed a ton. Um, I will mention that uh, with the general warm-up we've had over the last couple weeks, um, a lot of that lower stretch water, the water lower below uh, deckers is starting to open up quite a bit. So that allows us to sort of spread our arms. Uh, we don't have to um, you know, sort of bunch up closer to the dam or closer to below, uh, you know, it, you know, closer in deckers. We don't have to, you know, we're not sort of limited to that spot, you know, those areas, I should say. Uh, and we can really uh, spread our wings and uh, take advantage of a little bit more water that's available to fish. And, you know, down lower below deckers, a lot of those fish haven't seen flies in quite some time. And they're going to be a little bit fatter and they're going to be a little bit hungrier and they're going to be a little bit, uh, they haven't seen a fly, so, you know, they're going to be a little bit stupider. Um, so, you know, definitely uh, don't be afraid to spread out there when you go to Deckers. Um, you know, there's a lot more water to fish this time of year. I was in Cheeseman this past weekend, uh, WD-40, still the tricks, so it's still small midges, um, but I did have some, some success with size 16 midges um, as sort of a lead fly, and the same thing with like an RS2, which is uh, obviously a standard and a go-to here, but um, you know, it's good to see that fish are keying in on things other than small midges as well. Um, you know, in terms of flies to be using on the tailwaters, eggs, worms, attractor flies still do the trick quite a bit. Uh, and then bigger midges, sort of 20, 22 blue wing olive nymphs, um, and then 20 to 24, uh, you know, midges. So, you know, pretty much standard fare for this time of the month. Um, at this time of the year and then you know when you see those dry flies popping you'll be ready with your favorite midge and blue wing dry flies uh, because that's that stuff should start to happen on a more regular basis in the next coming weeks I looked at the forecast for the, for the next two weeks and in the mountains it's supposed to be in the 40s and the 50s here and there um, and generally sunny you know a couple cloudy days mixed in a couple you know mix you know wintry mixed days uh, but you know nice solid spring weather um, and you know, generally the you know the fish are going to respond um, you know we were out on the Arkansas this earlier this week and then later last week and uh, you know all those you know those fisheries like the Arkansas you know Colorado the, the Eagle are starting to open up um, you know we're seeing a lot more uh, ice free water and uh, fish are responding appro appropriately uh, we're seeing a lot of, you know, I, we found some risers. Um, and that's always makes my, my heart warm. Makes me feel good about life, you know, when I see rising fish in the, in the foam line. Um, so, otherwise, you know, for the, the free stones, you know, fishing streamers is always a good option. Uh, you might have to grind a little bit more, uh, might not see as many fish, uh, but, you know, fish will start to look for that bigger meal uh, this time of the year. Um, after, you know, when the water temps start to warm up a little bit, they start to keep, become a little bit more active and uh, a little bit more willing to chase a streamer. Still, you know, a slower retrieve, but uh, don't be afraid to put it in the fast water as well and sort of dead drift it um, or just, you know, manage it downstream. And I think you'll be uh, pleasantly surprised. Uh, in terms of nymphs, uh, for the, you know, the tail water, or not the tail water, the free stones, um, you know, big pat stones, small pat stones, Lost my paper, I'll pick that up later, I swear. Uh, big pat stones, small pat stones, golden stones, um, you know, if it's off color and high, worms, eggs, uh, and then attractor nymphs like the Psycho Prince, uh, you know, lightning bug, um, rainbow warrior, 
uh, and you know, some bigger midges, some smaller midges, some blue wings, um, you know, all that sort of mixed together. You know, caddis will start to become more active now uh, as well. So like a dirty bird, a hare's ear uh, can be productive as well. So look forward to seeing you out in the water, back in the shop. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a holler. Uh, still waiting on that big spring bump and flows on the free, uh, tailors that Tara was talking about. Hopefully that comes soon and that will uh, you know, make fishing even better. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, bye.